I was just recently playing Alan Wake 2, which is a really good game so far, but as most know, its performance is not the greatest. I can play the game, but I have to play with FSR 2. FSR 2 came out in 2022, and FSR 3 came out towards the end of 2023. And FSR 3 is a lot better, and it also includes frame generation. So with this, I had to find a workaround, and workaround I did. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use DLSS on AMD GPUs in games that either don't give FSR or have a low version of it, and it's actually really easy to set up and configure. So without further ado, let's begin. Now first for the requirements, and actually there isn't many. First, make sure that you have a DirectX 12 compatible GPU, which there are a lot so that shouldn't be an issue. Then make sure you have a DirectX 12 compatible game if you want frame generation. If not, then this will also work for some DirectX 11 games. You also want to make sure that the game you're choosing does not already have FSR 3. If it does, then there is pretty much no point of this workaround. Alan Week 2, for instance, only has FSR 2, so this is a perfect game for this workaround. Now, before we set this up, let me explain what this does quickly. First off, for games that don't support FSR 3, mods are normally created to add that support. But modders can't just add UI to a game. So what they do is they use DLSS, which in most games contains similar settings. So modders can switch out DLSS functionalities for FSR 3 functionalities. This mod in particular also adds FSR 3 frame generation in place of DLSS frame generation and it works pretty well. These mods also have to tell the game that your GPU is a Nvidia GPU so that it will enable access to the DLSS settings. And yeah, with all of that, that's how you can add FSR 3 to any game. Now to set this up, you need to download DLSS Enabler. This application does what I mentioned previously. It forces the game to believe your GPU is Nvidia, then swaps out DLSS for FSR 3. First, download the latest version from the GitHub page, then open the installer. Now you'll need to install all of these files to the game folder. Once you've installed these files to the game folder, it should look like this. Now there are a few things that need to be done. First, use the Disable NVIDIA Signature Checks registry file, which removes the game's ability to check for whether you have a NVIDIA GPU or not. Then open DLSS Finder, which will validate whether your game supports DLSS. If it does, it should say this, but if not, I assume it will let you know that. Once that's done, you're done. Now FSR 3 support has been added. Now it's time to configure all of this. If everything worked well, you should be able to open your game and click insert. That should open the OptiScaler window. This is where all of the magic happens. First, enable FSR 3.x in upscalers, then go down to FSR settings and enable FSR 3.1.0. And if you have a FSR 4 compatible GPU, then you can also use FSR 4. Other than those things, there is not much else you need to change. Now you can go into your actual game settings, enable DLSS, and then also enable DLSS frame generation. And there you go, just select the settings you want. I'm using quality and 2x frame generation and it works pretty well. Other than the regular things, you can also adjust the quality of each choice so that quality for instance gives you slightly less performance but more quality than usual or DLAA can be increased so that it's not fully native but pretty close. I tried pretty much everything else and I couldn't get them to make a difference to my game, so I left them as is. Now for testing, I tried this and it works so well. It's honestly mind blowing that you can just brute force FSR 3 into games since developers choose not to add it natively. I tried checking the difference between FSR 2 and FSR 3 in this game and it didn't make a performance or quality difference, but frame generation makes this game feel so much smoother, especially since it can use motion vectors unlike using lossless scaling.
and that is it now you can add fsr3 or even 4 to any dlss compatible game just by using a free workaround thank you guys for watching if you find this video helpful please make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one